go. Yo, what up, what up, what up? Hey, y'all, to, to everybody, to everybody who's super sensitive, y'all need to hop off the live now. Don't sit on this live, because y'all gonna get offended today. And y'all know, I don't give a fuck. Hey, y'all, can y'all please start asking me, somebody asking me, would I have let the mass shooter tape and I please start asking me no stupid ass questions, y'all. Uh, listen, y'all, hey, I'm going to say it again. To anybody who's overly sensitive, please get off my live. Please get off my live. Y'all going to be offended. Y'all probably not going to like me no more. You feel me? I don't want to ruin the relationship. I'm bullshitting. I don't really care about the relationship. But, you know, I, I don't want to interrupt your Sunday. You feel me? So, to anybody who on this live, uh, anybody who on this live who's super sensitive... <laughs> Who's super sensitive, don't like, don't like redirection or being caught on your bullshit. Get off the live. I'm telling you now, get off the live. <laughs> I'm going to offend you, not on purpose, but I'm sure you're going to be offended because niggas don't like truth. Niggas don't like facts. Yeah, 222, bro. Yeah, this, this is two and a half kilos, bro. This is 2,500 grams. It's the big boy. I went this motherfucker for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so first and foremost, listen, I want to say this. Um, brother, that Cuban thick is the world. <laughs> hey, 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 we finna get active though on the real. Listen, y'all, I'm going to say this too before I get started. Be sure to be on tonight's call. Uh, uh, Maj, what up, big bro? Hey, be sure, to, be sure to be on tonight's call. Click the link in the bio and register because I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm be 1,000% honest with y'all. Some things I can absolutely cannot have a conversation about on Instagram live. You feel me? I'm not no goddamn fool. And I do understand how the game go. You feel me? So I'm going to give you a continuation tonight at 7 in private while we on Zoom. But let's address the elephant in the room because y'all keep DMing me this shit, right? So first and foremost, I'm going to say this. I am not here to make y'all feel good about nothing. I am not here to inspire y'all, to motivate y'all. I am not here to discuss the details of what happened, whether it's real, whether it's fake, whether it's any of that. I'm here to discuss this shit called preventative maintenance and the fact that a lot of you niggas be slipping, right? So let's get into it. The only motherfuckers that are surprised about the actions of yesterday are the motherfuckers who simply live under a whole fuck a rock, nigga. You live under a boulder. Tell me I'm lying. I drop a one in the comments. Have I not been saying? And my motherfucking kids been saying. I think for six years now, America is built off entrepreneurship and violence. So the fact that you niggas do not understand the importance of getting your financial affairs in order and making sure you are armed. And I'm going to say this too because this is everybody's favorite line. Bro, I got a felony. Bro, my city this. Bro, my state that. My nigga, then you need to you need to study situational awareness. Y'all know I made a whole firearm curriculum about this shit, right? Some of you niggas be sitting in restaurants with your back to the door. Some of you niggas be letting your children walk closer to the street while you on the sidewalk. Some of you niggas don't even know how to navigate through a, 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 a business parking lot. Some of you niggas really be crossing the street on your fucking cellular device. Listen, a lot of y'all is a lick waiting to happen if we're going to be honest. See, y'all got so caught up in this concept of get the bag. That, that be the funniest shit in the world, y'all. Every nigga on the internet telling you how to get a bag. None of these niggas ain't, these niggas ain't got the balls to tell you what to do with it after the fact, though, to sustain it. Everybody te everybody's supposedly telling you how to amass wealth. Nobody's telling you how to protect it. I'm gonna say what the fuck I've been saying. Nigga, everybody, listen, to be in my family, you have to be qualified. And if y'all don't know what qualification is, if you don't know what qualification is, go do your Googles. You have to be qualified. That's gun talk for the people that know anything about guns. My cameraman, listen, 222, bro, comment if you own this motherfucker right now. My, my cameramen are qualified. Nigga, you not pulling up on me nowhere 
and 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 it's not gonna be it's not gonna sound like war world motherfucking three that is the way in which we function because we aren't motherfucking fools we aren't oblivious to the country we've been living in for a thousand years i don't know who told y'all that y'all the new version of of of, of americans and y'all ain't got nothing to worry about and this shit sweet man listen don't nobody want to hear that shit y'all willful ignorance is no excuse you feel me y'all literally be watching this shit every day and then be like, man i can't believe something like that happened Nigga, this is what happened. This is the country we live in. But listen, y'all favorite IG gurus, they told y'all getting the bag was going to secure you. Man, I don't secure a motherfucking thing. Financially, yeah. But listen, I'm going to be real. A lot of y'all financial and y'all IG gurus, along with their entire family, is a fucking lick waiting to happen. I see the cars, bro. I see the money. I feel you. Big drip. Big diamonds. Big this, big that. Nigga, if I run up on you to take it right now, what you and them soft-ass kids finna do? Not a motherfucking thing. And yes, I said it's soft. Just being genuine. A lot of y'all families is complete baby shit. A lot of y'all soft. You're not combative. You don't know how... I don't understand for the life of me, how do y'all live in a country? Y'all live in a country that is overran by violence and guns. And y'all niggas still be bopping around like, man, I don't need one. Jesus got me. All right. Nigga, if I run up on you right now, Jesus is not finna get in the way of, of, of you... And this big ass fucking Desert Eagle, nigga, Jesus is not pulling up. It's night night for you. So again, I'm gonna say this again. Please kill, please kill the surprise and shit, y'all. Again, I don't know what rock slash boulder y'all be under. Y'all, this shit take place every day. Y'all niggas really just being la la land thinking like it can never happen. Uh, listen, think a nigga not watching you right now. He's not willing to run down. I want to say this too. Let's get back to the conversation of people like I can't get a gun. I've been telling y'all something else for years. America is built off loopholes. But niggas is way too fucking lazy to address the loopholes and try to get to them. It is built off loopholes. I've been saying this too for years. America is built on the fuck around. Niggas, somebody's gonna get fucked around. That's how it work. This is not a neutral country. This country is not built on like, well, you know what? As long as you be good and you do what you gotta do, life is sweet. No, my nigga, that is not how this shit work. You either going to fuck the game or the game is going to fuck you. But somebody is going to get fucked. Situational awareness, man. That's a big one. Keep your head up and your eyes open. Y'all, I see. I Y'all, literally, I just blew my blew the shit out of my horn at some high school students like three days ago. Crossing the street at fucking night and these two young ladies is looking at their phone. Y'all, what the fuck do y'all be thinking? Y'all be sitting in the car with the doors unlocked looking at your phone. You taking your whole, nigga, you supposed to be the alpha and omega, the leader of your family, nigga. You taking them to a restaurant with your back to the door. Nigga, you do not understand the importance of pro. Y'all, we're not even talking guns right now. You don't even understand the importance of proximity. You be letting niggas get in your family bubble. You let niggas crisscross y'all when y'all walking on the sidewalk. Nigga, that's not how this shit work. Simple shit like, we not, we not even talking about guns right now, y'all. We simply talking about, we simply talk about, you being, you being the fuck awake. You keeping your head up and your eyes open. You reading the room. You positioning yourself. Listen, some of y'all like, when niggas approach y'all, and it's a simple one. When niggas approach y'all, right? Again, y'all. Very simple. When niggas approach y'all, y'all literally allow them to walk up to you chest to chest. Man, you never know what a nigga on. If you right-handed, you leading with your left. If that nigga move wrong, you knock his motherfucking jaw off, off his face. Knock his jaw off his fucking face. Y'all don't need, like, proximity-wise. I see men especially. Ladies, y'all too, but I'm talking to the men. Bro, y'all got daughters, my nigga. You got sons. You got an old lady. How'd you let a nigga get in your bubble? How'd you not read in the room before a nigga get within 10 feet of you and it's too late? How'd you out here, la, 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 on your motherfucking phone like a nigga won't pull up on you and snatch them kids from you? So, again... I don't, I'm not even necessarily here to discuss the details of the mass shooting. I'm here to help y'all understand that I don't know what land y'all live on, but y'all need to wake the fuck up. I'm here to help y'all to understand that just because you got money, nigga, don't make you above the rules. A nigga can pull up on me. I just train with my gun, and I move with people who train with their gun, and they practice situational awareness. So pulling up on me ain't going to be the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to say something else. And, and again, this part I'm going to say for tonight at 7 because this is not a conversation with social media. But y'all, if y'all don't get y'all uh, Instagram promoting ass off this bitch, I am so sick of y'all in that pussy ass narrative of every time some, some wild shit happen, you niggas just going to the phones. No, what you niggas need to do is go train. What you Listen, I've been saying this shit for like two years at this point. 
Yo, my pops went and got every fucking licensing we need at this point. And then he dishes the licenses out to the family that can meet the requirements. My nigga, if you don't understand what I'm saying, I don't know how else to say it. A lot of y'all can do the same fucking thing for your family. I said it all this week. Your family need to have standards and non-negotiables. Nigga, it is mandatory in my house. You better know how to use a gun. You better know how to get some money. You better fucking love yourself. You better know how to... Nigga, ain't no maybe, ain't no compromise. Nigga, you better know how to shoot. Derek, listen. Grab, I said this shit again if y'all was on my live the other day. You have to create a graduation process for your family. Because if you don't, life going to create it for you. It's some of y'all on this bitch right now that think your child going to have the best of the future because this little nigga got a diploma and straight A's. Man, the real world don't give a fuck. If he pussy, whatever he go acquire based off those straight A's material-wise, a nigga going to take it from him. A nigga is going to take it. The government going to take it or a nigga going to pull up on him and take it, y'all. I have a graduation process in my house. When you graduate, you get a kilo of gold, you get a plain Jane Rolex, and you get two or three guns. Derek has had a gun since he was six years old. Derek has had a gun since she was four years old. I am overly confident that my niggas, and I say it all the time, will knock your fucking eye out the back of your head. Not shoot you, not hit you. Nigga will knock your eye out the back of your fucking head. Y'all really be on here posting reports. Oh, Lil Junior got straight it, man. Lil Junior gonna get victimized in 10 years. Because Lil Junior gonna fuck with them wolves. And them wolves don't give a fuck about them straight A's. Junior gonna have to know situation awareness. Junior gonna have to know the importance of a firm handshake. Junior gonna have to know the importance of setting boundaries so no bitch ass nigga don't think it's sweet. And if a nigga do think it's sweet, he gonna spank his ass and make an example out of him and any other nigga that's thinking about it. So I, listen, y'all, I'm with you. Get your bag. But a lot of you niggas just gonna get robbed following that. A lot of you niggas still sweet. A lot of you niggas not respectable. Every time some gangster shit happen, y'all want to get on the gram and, 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 and trauma bond. That's all niggas really want to do. Y'all just want to repost this shit and talk about it, man. That shit crazy, man. We being haunted, man. It's the system, man. They gonna let him go, man. That nigga don't nobody want to hear that shit. Nigga, the system been the system since the system been the fucking system, bro. We heard all that crybaby ass whole shit. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do to make sure your children don't get victimized? Let, let me switch to the other side of it, right? So again, I've been saying since 2016, I believe, America is built off violence and entrepreneurship, right? Now, this is where money is important. When, next time you niggas get some money, why don't, you go, why don't you go to your relatives, right? Who got that motor in them. And when I say that motor, they, they with the shit. They with the gangster shit, right? What y'all should start doing before your little cousin go get a record, like, he a wild nigga, right? Some of y'all got him in your family right now, right? You got a little cousin, he's a wild nigga. Nigga known to get super active, right? Before the system get a hold of him and fuck up his opportunity, why don't you go grab your cousin? Matter of fact, why don't you call your whole motherfucking family today and say, hey, we all need to meet at the house. We all need to meet at the house. And we need to identify who the family CEO. Which nigga, in that, which nigga at this table gonna handle that bag overall? Who the family negotiated? Which nigga at this table gonna negotiate in politics so we can move forward? And which nigga is trained to go? You know what you do after that? Once you identify that one motherfucker, you may have 10 in your family that's trained to go, you then go put them in a position of power. Like, you even need to make the investment. You need to put your cousin through the G class. You need to put your cousin through the D class. You, you need to go put one of your cousins through the MB so they can manage the actual business. A lot of y'all don't understand, y'all listen. America has been terrified of black people with guns. So trust and believe. I get it, bro. They make that shit as hard as possible. But that's why you niggas got to study the wolves. That's why you niggas got to be uh, three steps ahead. That, that is why, like, this shit, this shit is it's not, it's not coincidental, y'all. The system was set up in an intentional manner. And it only take one of y'all. It only take one of y'all in the family to get your shit together to then have the power to license others around you within your family and get your shit together. Somebody said, that sound good, but they got to be willing. Yes, they got to be willing. So that's why you identify with like-minded individuals. I've been saying this shit since day one, y'all. Your family may not be your relatives. The niggas that you create a militia with may not be your relatives. The niggas that you go get a million dollars with may not be your relatives. Like, so the fuck what? Nope, nobody cares, y'all. I'm here to tell you, like, I don't care and the world don't care. 
They 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 never pull up on niggas and be like, damn, you know what? He had a rough life. He probably ain't had nobody support him. Don't kill him. No, they're gonna blow your fucking head off. Nobody cares, you feel me? So any excuses you got to not get this shit done are only gonna satisfy you. Because them niggas that'll pull up on your ass give zero fucks about what you're talking about right now. Nobody cares. No wolf has ever seen our children and been like, damn, he probably was raised without a mom, bro. Don't kill him. Fuck that, nigga. That's all the reason why we gonna kill him. Anyhow, y'all, what I do want to say is this. And I'm gonna give y'all some action steps. Because, you know, I'm big on actions. I don't want to just, you know, I'm, I tell you, I'm not here to motivate, right? This is what I urge you to do. I urge y'all to do a couple things. And again, some of this I can't really get into because this is social media. And y'all know how social media work. You feel me? So, like I said, meet us tonight at 7 p.m. It's a free call. You ain't got to pay a motherfucking thing to, get, to be there. Meet us tonight, though. But this is what I want to say. This is in his books and packs. Stop waiting around to get your family ready. Hey, hey Carter, I appreciate that, bro. Because niggas really be acting. They be sending me these, these, these stories, bro. Like I haven't told them for like 10 fucking years. Arm your children. Arm your family. Get your land. Get your gold. Get your guns. But anyway, I'm going to say this. Action steps. I dare y'all to create a group text right now and tell all your family that is extremely urgent that y'all meet. And once y'all get them in a circle, I dare you to filter out who pussy, who not, who's willing, and who ain't ready. Once you identify who's ready, I dare you to give them a task of things they need to do and give them like a whole two weeks or 30 days to get the shit done. Because I don't know why some of y'all be thinking this shit's sweet. And y'all, this shit take place in America every year. You feel me? It's a certain season where like the streets turn up and people start getting killed motherfucking left and right. Um... Next thing I dare you to do, right, is I dare you to create the responsibilities for each role. So let me help you with three of them. I want you to create. I want you to identify a family CEO. Um, I want you to identify again a family negotiator, and I want you to identify who with the shits in your family. Number four, what I want you to do, I want you to identify where is y'all meeting spot or where is y'all location y'all retreat to if you ever have an emergency. I'm gonna give y'all one more. The rest I'm gonna give y'all tonight. And then I dare you to create an emergency contact list. This is why I don't be feeling bad for nobody, y'all. Y'all will take y'all children to them trash-ass public schools and fill out a whole emergency contact list. Y'all will go to the doctor and fill out an emergency contact list. You realize y'all have been so indoctrinated that y'all will give an emergency contact list to every fucking outlet but your own. I bet the same motherfuckers who be filling those out do not have a life or family emergency contact list. And I don't mean like, call my mama if I'm sick. I mean like, bro, if something happened to me, or if I send a mass text out and it got this number in it, nigga, my location is on, so y'all know where to pull up to. And if I put this secret number that only the family know in it, when you pull up, you don't ask questions. The only question you're going to ask is, where am I? And if motherfuckers are not forthcoming with answers, then y'all know what to do after that. Five action steps right there. Five action steps, because listen, y'all will get together for the holidays. Y'all will get together for the birthdays. Y'all will get together for funerals. Like, y'all will get together after a motherfucker dead, but won't practice preventative maintenance to get together before a motherfucker is dead to prevent such or be ready if something happens to take place. Again, y'all, nobody cares about your victim mentality. Nobody cares because your family ain't all aligned. Nobody gives a fuck. You feel me? So you're either going to, like, assert yourself and get in the fucking game so you can fuck it over or you're going to get fucked over. People been asking me for the longest. Let me answer this too. Bro, what age should I start training my children? That is based off the maturity of your children. Derricka saw me shoot somebody when she was three, four years old. So when I started training her at three, four years old, it wasn't an issue because she really had been in some real shit. I saw how she would perform under pressure. So it, it was a breeze. Her brother, three years older than her. Super breeze. My youngest two, of course, they're two and four. Absolutely not ready. But my oldest two, absolutely ready. My middle two are in the process of getting ready. You feel me? Can they break them down like they brother and sister? Absolutely not. They haven't got the strength. They're not there yet. But again, y'all, the point I'm making is this. Base it on your child's maturity. Y'all need to start having genuine conversations with your children about danger. Having genuine conversations about your children with your children about death. Some of y'all are scared to discuss death. It's literally the only thing that all of us on this... It's 600 and some people on this motherfucker. All us got this shit in common. Everybody on this bitch gonna die. 
please stop sheltering your children because what you don't give them, life is going to give them a fucking crash course of it. What y'all favorite Instagram gurus won't give y'all, life going to give y'all. That shit be mind blowing. And I'm going to say this too. Most of the niggas y'all follow, they are smart. They are witty. They are genius. But they are pussy at the same time. And I say that with love. Them niggas pussy, right? And I'm, I'm going to tell you why I feel that way. Because them niggas know what's outside. They know what's lingering. But because they want to tap dance, they don't want to be identified as a radical. They want to be able to get those interviews and sit amongst their oppressors and smile and get their followings up. Those niggas will never speak on the conversations we having right now. Them niggas see what the fuck going on. Some of them niggas got security. So they understand the importance of protecting your motherfucking life and your vessel. But them niggas have never had this conversation. Them niggas just gonna tell y'all to get a bag. These niggas can't even go to their neighborhood Walmart without getting ran out that bitch or beat the fuck up. These, these niggas gonna show you all the drip. You feel me? They gonna show you everything to make you a target. But a nigga ain't gonna show you nothing to make the next man a target to make sure you not a fucking target. Or if a nigga ever think you a target... He gonna learn out. He he gonna learn some different shit that night. That's what. Listen, needs to be asking one time, bro. Why ain't see you here? Why? Cause I can't, bro. I can't stand around that whole shit. I can't be around that. I can't be around no nigga that's moving with security, but won't have a conversation publicly about the importance of moving with guns and security to protect your life. But to tell niggas how, oh, this is how you get the bag, my nigga. This is how you get. This is how you get rich. We running it up. I got the drip. Now you got the drip till a nigga come take it with your soft ass. You got the drip till a nigga find out your home address. And you, and you butt-ass nigga because he pulling that drip off your body. So, like I said, y'all, I ain't saying niggas ain't genius because they are. I, I, I know some dope individuals in this space. What I will say is niggas cowards, though. What I will say is niggas terrified of white America crowning them a radical. You feel me? And they never get the look they wanted. They never get to do the interviews. They don't get booked. Y'all, listen, y'all know me. I don't even fuck about none of that, nigga. I ignore interview requests every day. I don't come out my house unless I genuinely feel like it. I don't fuck with humans like that, which is why y'all rarely ever see me like, listen, y'all, you ain't never got to worry about me lying to you about shit of sugar code because I don't want no friends anyway. Them niggas be wanting to be the fan favorite. They want to be loved. You feel me? They really come to social media for validation. Bitch, my family's straight, nigga. That's my priority. My family's safe. My little lucky lefty out there, Derrica, I like her to, man, listen, I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I, I ain't seen too many grown ass men that fucking with her and her brother. Oh, he's a, he's, he's a whole nother animal. <laughs> My young nigga is dangerous and I'm proud of that. I guess I'm, I'm cheesing ear to ear. You feel me? Because I have supreme confidence that if you motherfuckers ever accidentally catch us slipping outside, boy, listen, it's going to be a good one. We gonna have a ball, nigga. You you better have an Iron Man suit on. All we do is headshot. I said it, I'm gonna say it again. My children will knock the motherfucker eye out the back of his head. I'm confident in such. But anyway, I'm gonna say this, man. First and foremost, I want y'all to take it easy. I don't want y'all to get worked up. I want y'all to stop trauma bonding. A lot of y'all really ain't about no action, y'all, and that's not good. You feel me? If what you saw yesterday and what you're seeing bothers you that fucking bad, why don't you do something about it besides sit on fucking social media and politic with all these other niggas who ain't gonna do shit? Somebody said they ready to get certified. Listen, y'all. Google Grace's Ultimate Gun Store. We really certify people. We really ship ammo all over the country. We really got bulletproof vests. We really got gun bags. We really got... Oh, shit. We got our ammo. We got our own ammo coming out soon. We got ammo, but we got our own Grace's ammo that's coming out uh, Nate, listen, we really got you covered, A to Z. For the people that's dead ass serious, like, I want to get certified. Google Grace's Ultimate Gun Store. And when we open up on Tuesday, because we close Sundays and Mondays. When we open up on Tuesday, call my pops. He's at the store. He's at the store 24-7. Call pops. Call the family, nigga. Anyway, though, y'all. on the Yeah, yes, bro. Absolutely, we should. We will put that motherfucker in the mail and send it to wherever you need to be sent to. Out of state, yes, y'all, we shook. But again, y'all, somebody said, but does certifying work for felons? Bro. All right, y'all, I'm going to say this again. There are some conversations that we're not going to have on social media. You feel me? So for the people that got those type of questions, just click the link in the bio and be there tonight at 7 p.m. But I'm going to say what I've been saying. 
there are loopholes for everything in America. I'm gonna tell you something, right? It's two type of people in the world that I that I in my opinion. You have poor people. I'm sorry, three type of people. You have rich people, you have poor people, and you have ignorant people, right? The rules are for the poor and the ignorant. But the people who are either rich in finance or rich in knowledge, they'll find a way to get past any fucking thing that this country puts in its way. America has a bookshelf, right, that only the poor and the ignorant niggas see. But then they got like a higher up bookshelf that's like two steps ahead. That like niggas who know or niggas who got it, they get complete access to any fucking thing they want. And if you think I'm lying, just like Google the similarities or the comparisons of people who got it or know it and people who don't. You're going to see them motherfuckers skate every time. That's how the country is set up. The country is not set up on a fair basis. And I no, I'm not I'm not even complaining. Like I've been understood that I respect it. I adhere to it. The cunt I I respect it. I'm not one of them. Y'all never gonna see me get on this bitch like, oh my god, it's so hard for us. I can't fucking nigga the game been set up that way, bro. That's your job to go do the independent research to figure out how to finagle. Or like, and I'm not saying that like literally, I'm saying like that's our job. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna tell y'all this. And I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest. I have studied law. I was a 911 dispatcher for four years. So not only have I studied law, but I like got to sit and watch it. I got to watch it inside and out. I got to hear conversations. I got to genuinely see how chain and command work. I got to understand the importance of brotherhood and how they literally are the biggest gang in America. And how a lot of y'all is a motherfucking fool if you ever think for one minute that niggas that's within the brotherhood are looking forward to locking each other because they violated one of y'all asses who ain't in the fucking brotherhood. Nigga, it is nothing but gang culture. You feel me? Y'all know everything about Bloods and Crips, but won't study law for, for a fuck. I really don't understand that. Secondly, my pops is retired Secret Service. You feel me? So I'm going to give him hella credit because he plays a huge role. My great-granddad retired from both the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and the Tampa Police Department. And I got uncles, I got all type of shit, y'all. But I have a long, a family with a long history in law enforcement. So what I will say is, I was provided a luxury because I was forced to be around it because that's what I was born into. So when I did start to tiptoe and shot somebody a couple years ago and this, that, and the third, I understood the mechanics of the system and that it's a right and a wrong way to do wrong shit. Hear me one more time. There is a right and a wrong way to do wrong shit. And if you are educated or you have the backing or you have the resources, you're going to be okay. I'm going to keep saying what I've been saying, y'all, too. I don't really believe America is racist. I believe America is classist. I learned that watching Donald Trump. Niggas don't necessarily hate black people. They don't fuck with poor black people. They hate poor white people, too. Like, I know poor white people, white people who fucked up. Niggas get no love, no favor. They look at like a piece of shit, just like they look at a lot of us like a piece of shit. So I'm going to go back to what I originally said a few minutes ago. This country is built off violence and entrepreneurship. Get your bag. You know, you know the same shit. All these IG niggas telling you, get your bag, get your bag, get your bag. I'm with you, bro. Get your fucking bag. But nigga, you better know how to protect it. Because it's going to leave you very soon. Whether a nigga come snatch it from you, whether a nigga take your life from it, or you don't know what you're doing and the government find a way to trick you out of it and you back at square A. It is a game, y'all. This is nothing more than a game. And I'm going to say this too. Y'all self-righteousness, I keep saying it, that's what's fucking y'all up. A lot of y'all want to play the game from a self-righteous perspective. My nigga, I salute you. I respect your morality. I respect your standards. <clears throat> but bro, them niggas you playing with outside have no morality. Am I telling you to be a snake? Fuck no. But I'm telling you in order to catch a snake... You might have to play like one temporarily to get close enough to knock his ass down. That's all I'm saying. And a lot, like I said, I can't say like hella too much because this is Instagram. We're going to talk tonight. At seven. Listen, y'all, if you have not registered for tonight's call, I'm going to say what I've been saying. If you give a fuck about your family, you're going to be there. It's a free call. I just know like, y'all, y'all know I just got back on Instagram. Like the niggas had me banned for like, I think it was like nine months. I couldn't get on this shit. So what I will say is, you know. A nigga, 
I know how to pivot. I know how to adjust. I got to maneuver when I'm on this internet shit. But like I said, click the link in the bio and register for 7 p.m. tonight. Y'all going to get a private link to Zoom where we can really have a conversation. But again, 7 p.m. Eastern. My bad, bro. 7 p.m. Eastern. So which one do we click? Nah, love, look. So when you click the link in my bio, it's going to say free. It's going to say State of the Union. I'm sorry. I can't even remember by heart. But it's going to say State of the Union free something something. It, it should be like the top link. When you go to my bio, it's not on my website. You got to click the link in my bio. When you go to the link in my bio, hold on, y'all. Because I'm that nigga that will give y'all bad information. My memory is the worst. So, look, you're going to click the link. Damn it. Click the link in my bio, y'all. And right there, it's the very top one. It says free intensive financial class, y'all. It's right there. Somebody said, I clicked the link and still haven't received my link. Y'all, we've been sending links since last night. I'm going to say this, too. Check y'all spam. Check your spam. Check your promotions. Check all that. Because what we not going to do is at 7 p.m., I answer none of y'all. It's like, oh, this is my email. I ain't get the link. Make sure you check every folder. Y'all do know that emails have employed artificial intelligence. So sometimes when you get an email, it'll store that bitch where it want to store it just based off the artificial intelligence. So check your promotions. <clears throat> and we still sending them out. But check your promotions, check your spam, check all that. Even if you need to search, y'all, type in the word Zoom. Go search. Hit the search bar on your email, type in Zoom. From there, any Zoom link you receive should pop up. And if you put in the right email, then you're going to get the information. But like I said, y'all, 7 p.m. tonight. Somebody said, so you have security when you're in public? Hell yeah. Yes, bro. I have Bro, I have a security company. It's called Grace Private Security. We got a whole IG page. It's in my bio. We got Grace Private Security, bro. I got several people on my body every time this body moves. Bro, I am extremely important to my family. Extremely important to my family. So I would be a lame-ass, wild-ass, irresponsible-ass nigga to go spend $104,000 on the 2,500 gram kilo, uh, 2,500 gram Cuban but don't got people around me. Don't got people around me to protect my being just in case a motherfucker try to snatch me from these babies. Yes, bro. I understand the game. I understand. Hey, baby. I understand they got a game. I got one too. That's up, bro. That's all we doing. We studying our opponent and we meeting niggas where they at. We ain't playing victim. We ain't scared. We ain't running. We ain't hiding. We ain't doing no bitching. We ain't doing no complaining. Nigga, we meeting them where they at. Oh, that's how y'all move? Say less. We gonna move even harder. Oh, y'all got a game? Me too. And my niggas know how to shoot. Like, they got marksman marksman certifications. They not like them street nigga shooters that's turning the gun to the side and, and finna shoot 30 times and hit a bitch twice. Nah, it's not that. Yes, bro. That's super important. So, what I'm saying, like, the, the point of me saying identify who is your family negotiator and aggressor I understand that people don't have the means that I do. I understand, bro. Tax bracket, we may be in a different category. But you do have constituents. You do have people around you who are strapped. And all you need to do is get them the proper certifications. And y'all gonna move like the motherfucking president. Conversa bro, I'm gonna tell you something right now. This is the last thing I'm gonna say on this live. These weird ass niggas that go shoot shit up. Y'all, they never shoot the hood up. They never go to police stations. These niggas seek out areas in which they can victimize people, right? So this is where visually, it, and that's, that's straight visual. I tell you guys all the time, people are visual learners. Niggas listen with their eyes before anything, right? Listen to me. These niggas never pull up in overpopulated hood street areas or police areas and get active. Because niggas don't want to shoot out. Niggas want to victimize. They pussy. Niggas don't, they, they don't want smoke. They want to give it. They looking for none in return. So this is the key, right? When you're moving with a certain representation, bro, it's a deterrent off the rip. i give you an example. If you see me walking 7-Eleven on some solo shit, you're going to be like, oh shit, that's Derek. Oh shit, let me go hot lap, bro. I ain't never seen this nigga in the streets. Cool. But I don't move like that. So when you see me pull up in 7-Eleven, you're going to see several individuals from my front to my back who going to watch my surround? I think I'm watching my own body. But you're going to see several individuals who watching my front to my back. That that in itself, bro, is a visual deterrent. Because if you got it on your mind, and now re-register like, oh, shit. 
all right, bro, do got some bad. Because, y'all, this is how my mind works. So, if I'm watching me, I'm like, okay, nigga got on some basketball shorts, T-shirt, flip-flops. So, I know, like, even if he need to run, he can't run that fast. He got to come out in flip-flops, which give me a couple more seconds to try to put this pistol on him. Nigga got on basketball shorts. Don't mean he ain't strapped, but it's a 50-50. The way them basketball shorts look, if you a gun nigga and you got, you you know holsters, you know this game. You looking at nigga with some basketball, you looking at me going set down some basketball shorts, you're like, eh, it's a 50-50, he's strapped. But shit, even if he is, the way he wearing around his waist, he can't be strapped. They're too low. Nah, that don't make sense. I think I got him. I see bro with that big ass Cuban on, I seen him on the ground. I'm finna pull up. Now we got an issue. Somebody said, I seen you like that before. Yeah. And you probably have. And it's the reason why I'm continuously outside like that. Because I'm clearly extremely comfortable. Because if you watching me, you got to know it's a nigga watching you. Or as soon as you make yourself appear, he's going to be watching you. But anyhow, y'all, point I'm making is this. When I pop out and you see two extra bodies who don't look like they're here for some ice cream and cupcakes, that's a deterrent in itself. So that's why I'm telling y'all, like, you need to be having them conversations with your peoples to figure out who's the aggressor. Who's this? Who that? Do you know, like, a lot of y'all family sitting behind bars, a lot of y'all family got gun charges. What y'all not on, what the other, the other side of this is that, that y'all missing is that a lot of y'all can actually help y'all people to stay from behind that bitch ass wall by having these mandatory meetings and establishing these mandatory roles. Think about y'all cousins that done kill people. Think about y'all uncles that got bodies. Think about your partners who like knowing the truth, like, boy, that nigga got six bodies, boy, he'll shoot him. Now, can you imagine if this nigga actually had something honorable to kill for? Can you imagine your partners that really know, like, they really like marksmen in the streets, but now they certify marksmen that travel state to state, and he, and he got it on them at all times. And he not motherfucking qualified to knock anything down that y'all deem as a threat. Nah, but that ain't the case. He behind the wall. <clears throat> all that skill set going to waste. All that aggression going to waste. This nigga's a real killer. Like, he got blood on his hand. It ain't that easy, fam. It all sounds good. My nigga didn't get you. My nigga. Bro, take that, bro. See, you the type of nigga I stay away from. It ain't that easy, fam. It sound good. Well, bro, live your life how you see fit. My nigga, you, you're not my child or my partner. So I genuinely don't, bro. I don't know you. And I, I can say with love, bro, I don't care, my nigga. Like, that is your life and your business. So you can either soak up with niggas who doing it and actually try to go apply it, apply it, or you can just run with that loser, man. Man, it ain't that easy, man. It sounds good. Nah, nigga, it is good. It don't sound good, nigga. We living good, nigga. It don't sound good. It's really my life. I know niggas that ain't in my tax bracket that really move like that. You you, you just moving with a victim's mentality, bro, and you sound lazy as fuck because the shit really is easy. You niggas can get off my live right now, go purchase the proper books, get your ass to the first thing Monday, and go figure out how to get yourself licensed. Them classes ain't but two days, couple hours, a week long. You want your D license, you want your G license, this, that, and the third. So, yeah, bro, I hear you, but, hey, y'all, that type of energy we don't receive. And I say this with love, but bro, the type of nigga that when we having a family meeting, we like, hey, bro, you can go outside. Don't worry about it, bro. You feel me? Like, you you, you sound defeated already. It sound good, man. It ain't that easy. Nigga, this shit is easy. It gotta be easy. They've been they've been killing us for fucking four hundred years. It must be easy, and we still out here la la la. So yeah, bro, I said this with love, my nigga. But kill, kill that victim mentality, bro. That's why a lot of niggas ain't getting nowhere. That's why niggas be getting a a a, a felony and give up hope. I'm gonna say this one thing with the felons too, bro. If you have a partner. And you worry about being a felon. And you have a partner. Look, somebody just said it. But if some people already have felony charges, meaning they can never get a gun license. Hear me good. If you have a partner. Because y'all niggas love getting pussy. And ladies, y'all love getting dick. I just, I just gave you the answer. You got a partner, nigga. You got a partner. It's loopholes for everything. It's a way, it's a way to move, man. Like I said, y'all, these questions, I mean, these, this conversation ain't for Instagram. It's loopholes everywhere, though. Nigga, you got a whole wife. I don't care if you're a felon, bro. Tell that shit to a nigga who's single and alone and living in a box. You got a whole wife, nigga. Figure out the process of writing that letter and getting that pardon 
and sending that motherfucker to the governor of your state because that's the only person who can clear it at this point. But again, niggas be lazy with the information, don't want to go look it up, don't want to go research, just want to say, I'm a felon, man. G great. So this is what you should do, right? You should go to the internet and then you should look up what are ways that felons can get their rights restored. Or if I am a felon, can the person riding in the car with me have a big ass bazooka on them? If it is an emergency, this is American law. Y'all, do you know in America as a felon, if an emergency takes place, America uh, has dictated that it is your civic duty to do something about it. Again, y'all, open up your books. Nigga, you ain't single. I don't care if you a felon. She not. What are we talking about? He not. That nigga you play video games with every day. He not. Your daddy not. Your little brother not. The niggas you work with today. He not. The nigga you go on lunch break with every day. He's not. This is why I just said action steps. Get y'all ass off my live and everybody you love. Call them to your house right now and come up with a plan of action. And I'm and last thing I'm gonna say is this. Um rules apply to the people who follow them. And I'm gonna leave it at that. If you are in fear for your life, or you feel as though you may be victimized one day, and the only thing stopping you from making sure that you are trained and ready to go is that you're a felon. My nigga, nobody's going to care about that at your funeral. Your, ch your children can't take that shit anywhere in life. Like, you know, Pops just went out bad, man. He was a felon. You know, in America, if you're a felon, you can't protect yourself. Come on, man. And I also said more than guns. I said situational awareness. I said, I said being combative. We, we not always, we, bro, I, I know some of y'all just got on. I'm not just talking guns. Some of y'all don't pay attention to your fucking surroundings, bro. You don't even have, like, combative common sense. You let niggas get within the foot of your old lady to say, excuse me, or hey, how you doing? You don't even know how to line a nigga up if you left or right hand. And y'all just be out chest to chest, shaking hands. Hey, how you doing, bro? Tell a nigga poke the shit out you or something. Y'all, I'm not just talking gun. Again, y'all, I have a whole fucking curriculum about such that I put out. I mean, I think three years ago at this point. Matter of fact, all my felons. Y'all, hold on. Let me go get the curriculum real quick so I can read y'all something. And then the rest of this shit, I'm going to meet y'all at 7 p.m. Hold on. Y'all, I can't never find... Oh, there you go. I can't never find shit when I need it. So, to all my felons out there, I wrote this like three, four years ago. Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe y'all will listen to me one day. Maybe you won't. Maybe it'll take a bitch shooting at you one day. And you're going to be like, oh, shit, I get it. Let's take it serious, man. I died last night, but I got... But God spawned me back, so let me be serious now. Uh, where is that? Okay, on page 20, it says... What stops you from owning a gun? Federal laws ban those convicted of specific crimes from ever being able to own a gun. Felonies, misdemeanor, domestic violence, domestic violence offenses, and those with restraining orders fall under this ban. These states ban felons. I ain't reading all that. Illegal weapons in the United States cannot own a weapon if my spouse is a felon. If he or she has a felony, it doesn't mean you cannot own a weapon yourself. It supposedly means that you can't have access to it. One more time, y'all. If he or she has a felony, it doesn't mean you cannot own a weapon yourself. It supposedly means that you cannot have access to it. Oh, look at number five. Can I own a weapon if I'm a felon? Federal law does state that being a felon cancels your right to own a gun, but millions of felons get their rights reinstated to own a gun. Do not allow. I'm going to say this shit again, y'all. When I be putting shit out like this, 
Y'all, you don't be hurting nobody but your motherfucking self. When people who are living it and doing it be showing you and telling you how to do it. I put this bitch out three years ago. I dare a lot of y'all who was ignoring it to think about how many of your relatives done died or went to fucking prison for an additional gun charge. When niggas could have picked some shit up like this on the website and I stay giving that shit out for the low and been like, hey, cuzzo, nah, it's this nigga I fuck with. He got a curriculum and he actually said we can do this. So let's jump on the computer and see what building we need to pull up to tomorrow and figure this shit out before you get killed or get 20 more years for being a convicted felon with another gun. But, you know, that's called preventative maintenance. Niggas don't really practice that till they dead. And by that point, it don't matter. Um, oh, here goes a better one. What weapon can a felon own? Hmm. Per law. This is per law, not per Derek. This is per law. A felon cannot own any type of knife, club, taser, or gun. Number seven. Can a felon ride with someone with a gun? Absolutely. As long as that individual that has the license or right to carry is in fact the one carrying or concealing the gun. Most states also prohibit a convicted felon from having access in the house with firearms as well. So listen. States do vary, and I share that in this body of work. So depending on what state you in, you just need to go do a little research to make sure if your wife, your wife, your wife has a gun collection with a thousand guns, just go make sure that in a specific state, because it does vary state to state that you live in, that it's no issue with them being in the same house as you. That just happens to be your wife, and she just happens to like guns. Oh shit, we headed to McDonald's. Officer, that's not mine. My wife got that big ass desert eagle in her drawers. Not mine. You can't fuck with me. And this is why it's also important for you guys to do the proper research. And America is a police state. Why the fuck don't y'all study the police? That's like living. That's like living in a jungle with gorillas. Like it's gorillas everywhere. Nigga, like man, shit. I ain't. I ain't worried about it though. I'm just gonna go out there and motherfucker smash my head in the bean juice. It just, no. It's a police state. You should take time to like study the police. You should take time to study the law. You feel me? Because believe it or not, more than likely you or your children gonna have a run in with both. And hopefully you make it out alive. Hopefully you don't get violated. Hopefully you got enough sense to know no certain amendments so you can function a certain way and the motherfucker don't mishandle you. Drop a one in the comments for everybody on this bitch that's been that's that's been to jail on an illegal traffic stop. Some of y'all don't even know, y'all. The dog is considered law enforcement. He is a standing police officer. That little hairy motherfucker cannot. When you tell the police, like, fuck no, y'all not searching my shit. And he go get the dog. You do know the dog is considered the police. But a lot of people don't know that. So once they hit on something, a.k.a. the police dog smells something in your trunk. You then, they then go, hey, we got probable cause. You don't know no better. Okay, 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 fuck. Open the trunk up, you're gone for 10 years. Y'all, you live in a police state. You live in a state that's overridden by guns and violence. What you waiting on? To get shot? To die? Like I said, y'all, it's a free call. I will see y'all tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Click the link in the bio. Go register. It's a free call. Go register. That's all you got to do. It costs you like negative $5. Just go register. It's the top link in my bio. We have been sending links out all day and we're going to continue to send them. And I'm going to close this with what I've been saying, y'all. I love the fuck out of my family. I work really hard for my family. I go really hard for, excuse me, I go really hard for my family. I, I risk a lot for my family. I spend a lot for my family. I invest a lot for my family. If you give a fuck about your family, you'll be there tonight. I'm like, it's unfortunate what took place in Buffalo, but it's sad that a lot of y'all need that wake up call. You know, like you might go to McDonald's tomorrow and the nigga wife said she want a divorce. So now he on some wild shit. You might be headed to work tomorrow and your boss fired Michael. And Michael want to kill everybody now. You might literally go check your mail. And your neighbor dog run up to you and you don't want to get bit. So you kick him 
and then your neighbor retreat to his house and come out with a fucking rifle, bro. This shit not no game. I don't know what world niggas be in, y'all, but this shit not no game. I dare y'all to go look up the crime rate in America. Do y'all know that gun crime is up like 30% this year alone? Do y'all know how hungry niggas is right now? Do y'all know how financially fucked up the streets is? But you just, oh, you just, you just over, and I'm not telling y'all not to do it, but you just motherfucking over, over, over impressed with all these niggas on the gram telling you get the bag. And I'm one of them, y'all. I tell you get the bag. But I'm going to tell you how to protect it, too. I'm going to tell you the importance of arming your children. I'm going to tell you the importance of identifying a family CEO and making a family Bible so niggas know what to do. You have, you got to have the Jones Ten Commandments. You got to have the, 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 the Green Ten Commandments. I'm going to tell you stop pushing that narrative on your daughter that she just got to have pretty hair and dresses. No, you got to show her how to break a nigga nose. You got to show her how to blow a nigga eye out the back of his head. You got to show her how to get her hands dirty. The gang, this is what the gang built on. This is what the gang built on. Stop putting all the pressure on your son to lead the pack. Nigga, let your daughters get some smoke too. Let them get some action. Let Put them in some contact sport. Show them how to beat a couple niggas up. Everybody want to go get a mansion. But you don't know how to clear your house. Please, y'all. Please don't let what I'm... Hey, please don't let what I'm saying go unnoticed. Hear me. Everybody want to go get a mansion. But nigga don't know how to clear his house. What happened when a nigga waiting upstairs? And your newly rich, goofy, sleep ass walking down some la 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 shit. Nigga grab your ankles from up under you and pull you under the bed with him. Hear me. Everybody want a mansion. But don't nobody know how to clear the house. Y'all niggas be getting hotels and Airbnbs and walking in and dropping your bags. I don't play like that. Y'all niggas be out at the restaurants, parlaying, living your best life with your back to the door. I don't play like that. Y'all niggas be sending y'all children out into the to the elementary school jungle, the middle school jungle, the high school jungle. And you and, and, and you ain't teaching them the importance of, of, of mental preparation. Knowing how to line a nigga up if he get too close. I'm going to say what I said. Y'all be letting niggas walk up to y'all chest to chest. Y'all, I'm going to say, I say this with love. I don't let women walk up to me chest to chest. If you ever pull up on me, you're going to see me lead with that left. Just in case. Just in case. I can't get to the pistol fast enough. And I got I to gotta uppercut a bitch, whoever. You going to fuck down. I'm lining you up. I don't give a fuck what type of love you showing. I'm not going to stop lining you up till you walk away and you 10 feet back. But nigga, I don't care who you are unless you my loved one. It ain't too many people that can get chest to chest. It's my daddy, my brothers, my children. But other than that, come on, man. I'm going to line your ass up at all times. I don't know what you want, bro. I don't know you. I hear you. It's love. I see you on the ground, bro. Uh-huh. Appreciate that, bro. Don't stand here too long, though. You feel me? And I'm reading your eyes, nigga. If your energy, y'all... Somebody gonna go inside your motherfucking head before you get off, or you gonna get shot. A lot of y'all don't even understand the importance of hip shooting. A lot of y'all don't understand the importance of bump firing. What's hip shooting? If a nigga in your proximity and you can't step back, you feel me? You can't step back to like this camera's so close, I can't even do it. But you can't step back to fully extend and lock them in. You gotta listen, you gotta come off the hip with that bitch. You gotta know how to grab them internal organs ASAP. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 so much that goes to the 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 preservation of life. I just wish y'all would stop playing. I really wish it would stop taking people getting gunned down and that old weak ass, sick ass shit that nigga did yesterday for us to get riled up. Y'all, this shit happen every day. It just don't always hit the ground. So I'm gonna leave it there, y'all. I'm just, I said what I said. If you give a hey Banzo, I appreciate that, y'all. If you give a fuck about your family, you are gonna be there. Cause you're going to be politicking with somebody who, who really, really give a fuck about his family. Like I really give a fuck about my family. 
I'm really terrified just as much as y'all are of what my children are about to inherit in the next 10 years. But instead of letting that terrified feeling cripple me, oh, we train, we go hard. We don't sugarcoat shit. We gonna bump fire, we gonna shoot, we gonna qualify, we gonna practice, practice. Listen, y'all, I'm gonna say this again, transparent. Nigga, I be scared just like y'all be scared. I ain't scared for me. I be scared for my children and what they are going to inherit in the next 10 years. But rather than let that fear cripple me, oh nigga, we turns up. So if you ever bump into one of us and that's what you into, I genuinely hope you are into that. You gonna need it. Click the link in the bio, y'all. Register, look out for the link. Check your spam, check your promotions, check all that shit. 7 p.m. tonight, we getting active, y'all. I'ma say it again. If you give a fuck about your family, you will be there. It's absolutely free. The day, like, I'm with you, y'all. Get your bag. I know every nigga on the gram, get your bag, get your bag. You know you got to protect it after you get it. You do not want to be a rich, soft-ass nigga who's a victim waiting to happen. Because that's what most of these niggas on Instagram is. They got the drip. They got the diamonds. They got the cars. They got the clothes. They got the following. But if you caught that nigga right now in 9 p.m. traffic, the only thing he going to have is his bare ass on the side of the street because he cannot protect himself. And them soft-ass, beautiful children he got, they can't protect themselves either. We beautiful, but we ain't soft, though. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole package. For real, though, y'all, click the link in the bio. I see you at 7. I'm gone. <laughs>